Hey guys, Brian from Reef and Retriever, and today we're going to talk about the UPS additional handling charges. So traditionally, additional handling charges for FedEx and UPS have basically been weight, length and girth, length, width, and packaging. So there's like only like five different categories for each additional handling charge. So April 11th of 2021, these five categories are now going to be three separate categories for each one. Zone 2, Zone 3 and 4, then Zone 5 and above. So additional handling with width will now be $24, $24.50 and $27 depending on the zone. Length and girth will all be the same cost, that we, will now be $15, $16 and $18 for Zone 5 and above. So let's look at these five different categories real quick and see exactly what they mean. So the first one we're going to talk about is weight. Weight in domestic packages is anything with an actual weight over 50 pounds. This is not dimensional weight, this is actual weight. It's 50 pounds or more, there's going to be an additional charge now of $24, $25 or $27. So next we have length plus girth. So this is one where any package where it's length on the longest side plus the girth combined exceeds 105 inches. It's going to cost you $15, $16, or $18. Then we have length. This is where the longest side of the package is more than 48 inches. It's going to cost you $15, $16, or $18 for zone 5 and over. Width, you know, of course, is pretty easy. This is where any package of the second longest side is over 30 inches. So if you have a 40 by 40 inch package, it's going to be hit because the second longest side. So it's going to cost you $15, $16, or $18. Now there's packaging. So there's many more rules to this other than you know an easy few inches. So let's talk about this because it's a little bit more difficult and we see people get hit with these unexpected packaging charges a little bit more frequently. So an article that's not in a cardboard box like a tire or an anchor. Next would be anything where the outer container is not cardboard. So if you have something like in a canvas or leather metal case, you know, hard plastic case, you're going to get hit. Next thing uh, for packaging is anything in a soft-sided pack, like a poly, like a poly bag or a bubble mailer, that's over 18 inches on the longest side or 14 on the second. So certain uh, bubble mailers or poly bags are not going to get hit with this. Next, anything with a uh, bound with metal or plastic cloth or banding, that's wheels or casters or straps, something like that. Next, you have cylindrical items, barrels, cans, anything with an irregular shape. Remember, you're only going to get hit with one additional handling charge per package, but they also kind of have a tier level of how they're going to apply them. So being the most expensive down to the least expensive, of course. So in order of how they're going to hit your packages, if they're hitting them, weight, length plus girth, length, then width, then packaging finally. Another thing to remember is that additional handling charge is not going to be assessed if you already have a large package surcharge on it. So additional handling is something where a lot of our clients, they get hit with a ton of these packages, uh, package surcharges. If you have any questions about these, you want to lower them or learn how to do it or have us help you do it, you know, other than changing your overall packaging or weight or, weight or anything, give us a call 800-441-8085 or check out our website refundretriever.com. Thanks a lot.